Hello, my name is Jim Myers and I work for the Titanic Museum attraction. There is a story that I would really like to tell you today. It's about a little girl who was on the Titanic. Her name was Marjorie Collier and she was eight years old. Now Marjorie was traveling with her mother Lottie and her father Harvey. They were actually on their way to southwest Idaho for health reasons. You see, her mother Lottie had lung infections and they thought the drier climate would be good for her. Now, Marjorie, or as they called her Madge, was a daddy's girl. She loved when he would bring her little bits of folded paper that were made into different things. And he would sometimes bring her small gifts. But one thing that she cherished the most was her doll, her doll that he had given her for Christmas. Now, there are many of you that may have a doll that you play with. Well, that's what she had. She had this doll, but it was a very special doll. You see, it was made of china, and it had long black hair and blue eyes. She named it Dolly, and Dolly went everywhere with Madge. Even on the ship, she would walk around the ship and show Dolly different things, and they would talk about it, and they would share everything. Now, on the night that the Titanic struck the iceberg, Madge was sound asleep in her bed, and a conversation between her parents woke her up. She could tell it was a serious conversation, and so she woke up, and her mother told her that they would have to get up and get dressed and get dressed warmly because they were going up to the top deck. Now the Titanic had struck an iceberg and so they told her that and she really wasn't worried because she was with her parents. When they got to the top deck, they were taken to lifeboat 14. Lottie and Madge were both allowed into the lifeboat, but her father was turned away. Madge said, Daddy, aren't you coming with us? And he said, no, I'll be coming later in another lifeboat that the dads will be in. And so they said goodbye, and their lifeboat was lowered. As they were being lowered, she saw her father turn and walk away. It was the last time she saw him. You see, Mr. Collier perished on the Titanic. Lottie and Madge went on to New York City but they made the decision that they were not going to stay in the United States. And so they eventually went back to England, which is where Madge spent the rest of her life. Now, on one of the early expeditions down to the Titanic wreck site, where the ship lies today on the ocean floor, one of the things that the lights from the cameras picked up was the face of a China doll. We don't know that that was Dolly, but we would like to think that it is. The reason why this story is so very special to me is when I first came to the Titanic Museum attraction, I noticed a photograph in the third class hallway of Madge Collier and her mother sitting on a porch swing after they had survived the Titanic. And they have a white star blanket across their, their legs. And she does have a doll with her, uh, which was actually given to her by people in New York when the ship arrived. But that picture, there was just something about it that I couldn't stop looking at it every time I would go by. Uh, just the, the look on their faces. And so that story has always meant a great deal to me because of that photograph that we have.